Okay, so here is the piston. As you can see, it's very clean. But if you look on the side here, very rough. Like some kind of scratches on here that are that are kind of um, protruding. So if this is protruding, right, um, the rings will protrude upwards also and you'll lose compression that way. So as you saw, I had a couple of nuts come by and one was a tire kicker for the Toro lawn tractor, the 460. The other guy uh, saw my ad for this Ping golf bag. <laughs> when I was picking up my daughter, I saw it on the side of the curb. Somebody was throwing it out in the garbage. I thought it was a pretty good shape. So I Googled it and I saw it was like $399, something brand new. So I sold it for, so I put it up for 50 bucks. So some guy came, he goes, oh, it doesn't have to stand. I says, man, what do you want for 50 bucks? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just pick up stuff, leave it in the garage, list it. Some nut will buy it. You know what I mean? It's free money. Anyway, while all that was going on, I uh, I put the piston in. I, I swapped out the piston from a, uh, a wider piston to the connecting rod that I had before. Got it in there, tightened the bolts, and uh, put the crankshaft in with the synchro balancer, which is already on there. And I wanted to put it in to make sure that it spun freely and didn't hit anything. And as you can see, it's smooth, and it doesn't hit anything which means that I put it in correctly. If you put it in and it hits something, <laughs> then you put it in wrong. And uh, I've done that before. So I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to get this uh, channel lock wide enough so I can spin this crankshaft for you guys to see. 
There we go. There we go. Look at that. It doesn't hit anything and it rotates smoothly with the synchro balancer staying where it should be. So uh, I think this block is going to work. Um, this block did have a small impact over here and it had a tiny little protruding crack right there but I don't even think it leaks it, it just was a, a superficial crack but just to reinforce it I put some JB weld on the outside as well as the inside so uh, I'm gonna use some assembly lube from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products and basically I'm just going to drip some around the moving parts which is pretty much everything so I'm just gonna generously coat everything there joints all that uh also right here that's i don't know if you guys can see right there the ditch where the camshaft goes in put some in there okay now here's the camshaft that i have it's the only one i have it has a good compression release right and it is for this engine uh, um this one is for because you see this uh cut out there this is for the uh, lubricant uh, now this cam is not perfect okay take a look at the lobe the top one as i rotate it there's a small chip there see right on the corner there but it's only like an eighth of the length of the lobe so the lobe is gonna push it no problem because the other part of the lobe is fine so there is a little chip an imperfection you know what i mean I don't know if that's gonna affect it too much. I don't think so, because it really just needs to push the tap it to push the push rod up to turn the rocker arm, and you know, 90% um, of that lobe is still fine. You know, so <laughs> either way, I I don't have another one, so too bad. Uh, this other one's good too, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pop the tappets in. <laughs> I have to remember to do that because there's once where I actually put an engine together and forgot to put the, the tappets in. Um, this gasket here is good up to here and there. Uh, and since I don't think I have a gasket, I'm just going to use gasket maker, RTV silicone and put it around here, maybe. And then, uh, clean up that, uh, sump, put the governor in and then put it together and then slowly put the rest of this stuff together. And then maybe we'll have an engine that runs, eh? I've got my collection of gasket parts. I don't know if I have it or not. I might. Uh, also, some subscribers sent me stuff. So maybe there's a gasket in here. That I know is not it. That sort of looks like it, but it's not. This is a uh, Courage one, I believe. I don't have that. This is a Kohler one too. This feels like the valve cover gasket, the V-shaped one. So it's all from the Kohler. So unfortunately, ooh, nope, that's not it. And uh, that, that's not it, but where do I remember that from? All right, and then there's this, whoa! -ho -ho! jackpot i don't know when i ordered this but uh looks like i have a head gasket and i have the sump gasket i think i might have paid ten dollars for this this is a great deal ten dollars it comes with all the gaskets so this is a jackpot here i didn't think i had the gaskets but i do i believe i do yeah this looks like it oh sons of guns oh look i have a two I have two uh, sump gaskets. Awesome! No problem. All right, so we got gaskets. I don't have to wait for it. Don't have to order it. Ba ba ba. Good to go. Okay, so I've run into a snag, my first snag of the day, really, uh, if you don't count the size of the piston not matching this head. But uh, I just put the uh, tappets in, 
and I put the cam in. Take a look at the cam and tell me why I have a problem. Okay. You guys see it or no? That's right, this camshaft is slightly bent. How do I know? Because if you just look right there, the distance between these teeth and this gasket. Right there, see? Now it's so close, then it gets bigger. Yeah, so this is slightly bent. Theoretically, it might work, but <laughs> I'm not going to go through all this trouble, you know, and then have lifter problems, you know, and clearance problems and exhaust and intake and all that matters when the cam is bent. So this is definitely bent. I mean, I would say it's bent, wouldn't you? With the naked eye, you can't tell, but it is bent because it's rotating like this unevenly. Yeah, so I can't continue because I have no camshaft. What a mess, huh? Holy cow. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. So I, uh, in time lapse, I cleaned up all the surfaces that need gaskets, including the cylinder head, uh, the piston too. Now it's nice and clean, huh? Looks good, really good. I'm gonna use some air, compressed air, and blow this stuff out so the stuff inside won't get uh, trashed. Anyway, take a look at this gasket that I took it off. That that I took off. Um, it's a pretty good gasket, and it's on its way out. It's not quite. I mean, it's there, you know but it probably still smokes a little but uh, yeah that this gasket is dunsky but it's in, the rest of it is in pretty good shape you know it's, it's always right here though dark spots so this had a blown uh, head gasket anyway uh, cleaned up the heads the surface to the he uh, cylinder head cleaned up the gasket area for the sump and I was looking at the bent camshaft I really couldn't tell the difference then I thought about taking the 
compression release off of that one and putting it on that one, but it's not the same one, you know, this one's skeletonized and this one's solid, you know, the wheel. So it's not going to work. I'm going to need a new cam, whether one of those or one of these, you know, one of them. So until then, I really can't uh, do anything until I get a new camshaft to put this engine together. But it's coming together. I mean, I I think this is a, a good piston and uh, I think I, I put it in pretty pretty well. This thing moves pretty freely, which is pretty cool, you know. Hardly any resistance, some. But uh, it's looking good, you know. See that? It moves pretty good. And this doesn't move, you know. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, just got to find a camshaft, and then I can put this engine together. We'll put it on uh, that green Craftsman that I have back there. But uh, what a mess, man. So I won't be able to assemble the rest of this until I get a new cam. Until then, stay tuned. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye. <laughs>